of all Joe Biden's pledges during his first 100 days, it is promised to tackle global tax avoidance, which could have the biggest long-term impact. It's not right. We're going to reform corporate taxes so they pay their fair share. But this Irish-American president's plans are likely to face the toughest resistance here in Dublin. The Celtic Tiger has built much of its economy on attracting foreign businesses to set up shop here. And that was partly down to its very low 12.5% corporate tax rate. I'm proud of the part that it has played in our economic development, uh, uh, that for a, a country of our scale and size, uh, that we were um, able to grow our economy. We do have really significant reservations regarding a global minimum effective tax rate that is at such a level that it means only certain countries and certain size economies can benefit from that rate. We have a really significant concern about that. Why does this matter? Well, since 2000, corporate tax rates in most countries have been heading down. Look at Ireland, right at the bottom with its 12.5% rate. The US and UK plan to increase their rates in the coming years, but Joe Biden's also proposing that all countries should agree to a global minimum rate, which he first put at 21% and has now cut to 15% a couple of days after this interview was recorded. But even at this level, you can see one country which would still be below that minimum, Ireland. So its position on this is crucial. And in his strongest message for the US president yet, the finance minister says he's not budging. Do you envisage in, you know, five years' time, ten years' time, there'll still be an Irish 12.5% corporate tax rate? Yes, I do. I do anticipate that there will continue to be a place for a rate such as this and for low rates. Now, this issue has been under discussion in technical circles for some time, but here's why it's no longer academic. Next week, finance ministers from around the world, including Pascal Donohoe, who you just heard from, including Janet Yellen from the US, will be meeting here in London in that building, and this issue is likely to come up. In other words, these reforms, the biggest reforms maybe to global corporate taxation in a century, could be about to become very real indeed. So why now? For tax experts, the real question is, why has it taken so long? I think the reason we're here now is really a concern about profit shifting and tax avoidance by big multinational companies. The tax system as it is, is completely broken. It was set up in the 1920s for a completely different world. Britain's Chancellor, Rishi Sunak, is understood to support a global minimum tax rate, but only provided the US also agrees to other reforms on how tax is calculated, which would ensure the tech giants paying more. But for Ireland, which has enjoyed many years of economic growth boosted by foreign investment, the coming months of diplomacy could be testing. Ed Conway, Sky News.